The FAFSA, the way that we pull the FAFSA is a little bit different than the federal pilot. The, um, right now, we're pulling the data, we're filtering the database. So if a student submits a FAFSA, which is um, um, under 20 years of age, and submits it correctly with the high school code, we're just providing that information to the high school. We're not doing any kind of matching. We're not doing any type of, uh, um, any type of uh, uploading a file or anything like that. We tried that whenever we were piloting this, this project, and it was too time consuming for counselors and for everybody else. And then the system was very limited on the number of counselors can be in the system at the same time. So we decided to go, um, go uh, move away from the, from the matching process into just the filtering process and, and make it available statewide. So at this point, all you have to do is have, an, uh, have access to the counselor suite and you will automatically get the information. We, the information is, uh, is updated once a week. So we request the data on a Monday. We send the data to Apply Texas on a Thursday and it gets uploaded into the system Thursday afternoon. So every Thursday you'll have the data. So it's only a couple of four days uh, old data because if you, if you have a, a, a Saturday event, which most, uh, most, most high schools do, Saturday FAFSA event, then, and uh, you'll get that information in, in, on Thursday. So it's a little bit, um, just a couple of days old data. Do y'all have any questions? Okay. Do you, do you know who your region contact is who can help you find your, the counselors on your campuses who are? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> is you? Okay. <laughs> okay, 